going down the rabbit hole of laws and I found this one and I would like to request your written directive for filing complaints, please. Well, it says it's supposed to be made available upon demand. Here's the law if you'd like to read it. I mean, that's fine. I just don't have it up here. You don't have a policy drive on your computer? I nope. Mean, I'm sure we do, but... I know. I know how these things work. Yeah. You call them and let them know that it's required by statute. You didn't tell them it was required by statute, though. I'm that's all I got for you. Uh, per the chief, you're going to have to submit a FOIA request. There's no other further well, conversation about it. I mean, the chief isn't above the law, is he? I'll pass. Is he above the law? I answered your question. I'm not going to get into a debate with you. I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole with you. I do not have the time. I've got too much work to do. All right. Well, your job is to your job is to serve the public. So you have all you have all day to do it. All right. Good night. So you don't want to call Guffy for me? No, he already called me back and we already spoke about it. You did. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, how'd you know that? Because I read it, because you gave it to me to read. Well, that's the first time an officer has ever read anything I gave him. Good, good job. You provide information, so I don't know. I, I provide information all the time. Nobody ever looks at it. Well, well I can't speak about that. <laughs> I mean, it says, must be made available to the public. It technically is available, so I don't know what to tell you. Mine, I, I know it. I know it's available, it's just not available to Kyle Jocelyn. Yeah, I'm not qualified to speak on that, so I don't really have any more information to tell you. Who would be qualified? You would want to talk to uh, Lieutenant Guffey. Okay. So, if I come in tomorrow, could I speak to him? If it's in the morning, he'll be here. Well, I, I didn't ask if he would be here, I said, can I speak to him? Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. I'm not his secretary, but I don't see why not. I'm totally satisfied with not. Like, I'm good. <laughs> It doesn't bother you to not follow the law that you're required to follow? Uh, it should bother you. I'm not playing this game with you, Kyle. Come on. I'm, like, I'm really good. I honestly have a lot of work to do. And you're, you're taking away from other people by coming in here and taking away my time. Ma'am, you're, you're taking away from other people by not giving me the records I'm supposed to have. Okay? I already told you how to get it, so we're done. I mean, if, yeah. if, if you wanted me to be gone, all you had to do was give me what I'm have, allowed to have. <clears throat> no. No. And, you know, that, that's, not, that's not my problem. I would already be gone. I mean, you're, you're doing this. You're delaying the process. So it's uh, Chief William Paris's order. Was he made aware of the law, of the statute? I passed that along, yes, sir. He's not very good with statutes. He doesn't know many of them. Well, no, ma'am. There hasn't been a standard process. I mean, okay. The, okay, the last one that I received that said the process said it was supposed to be returned in five days, a written response in five days. I have never received a written response in five days to my complaints, ever. I don't do a complaint, so I don't <clears throat> comment on that. You could put me in touch with someone. You just called them on your phone, but you're not willing to. I said you could put me in touch with them. I didn't ask for the number. And it's not a personal number. No. I'm sure it's paid for by the county. Hey, do what you want to do, man. I don't want to play. Well, this is what I want to do. Okay. Since you, you're not willing to help me out and give me what I'm statutorily required to get. And you won't find anyone else for me to talk to about it, so... Oh, yeah. Some of us got to work. You guys tried to take that from me, too. Kind of backfired. How many calls you been receiving? Gotten quite a bit. McGill and the sheriff said y'all been getting lots of calls. Anybody call on my behalf? You know, every time y'all do something like this, it just makes you look worse and worse and worse. And I'm creating a record of all the terrible things y'all do. And y'all could care less, right? Time, what time will close? Seven. Okay. You want to kick me out at seven? Yes, sir. <laughs> you can stay wherever you want. I don't care. You just I'm said just you were going to kick me. I'm just locking that door at seven. Oh, and that'll be stuck in here? Yep. 
I don't think that'd make anybody happy. Have you ever seen this statute before? All right, well, can I have another complaint form then? Then you go ahead and do that. That's also required by statute. But... 